Hello everyone, it's Victor here once again and welcome to Victor's Tiny Kitchen where we cook Filipino favorites and more. And for today, we're going to be cooking pork humba. You know, I've been wanting to cook pork humba for a very long time, but never got a chance to do it. And now that I got everything, all the ingredients that I needed, I'm ready to cook. So I hope you're as well as I am right now. So let's get right at it. Let me show you the ingredients. So here are the ingredients. I have your combination of half a kilo pork bellies and half a kilo pork butts. I have three tablespoons of brown sugar here. I have one fourth cup of vinegar and I have one whole head of minced garlic. I have here a combination of bay leaves, three pieces of bay leaves and crushed um, peppercorns. I have one fourth cup of soy sauce. I have one whole head of onion that I have chopped. I have one tablespoon of black beans. Then I have a little amount here of banana blossoms. I couldn't find the dried banana blossoms in the market where I went to yesterday. And they have these um, canned ones. So I have no other option but to get this one instead. And we will also be using one cup of pure pineapple juice. I think that's about all the ingredients that we have here. So let's start cooking. It's really easy to cook this this and I am ready here with my pot. I'm just waiting for it to be nice and hot. And what we're going to do is to first brown our pork here. It's just simple guys. Just brown it for maybe two to three minutes. And once it's brown then you can add all the ingredients. So I'm going to show it to you. And now our pot is hot and nice here. We're going to start browning our pork. So as you can see, I'm not using any oil to brown our pork here. I'm just going to use the fat that's rendered out of this pork later on. So we're going to wait till this first batch of pork is done browning. And then after that, I'm going to brown with the rest of it. And then I'm going to come back and show it to you. So we are done browning our pork here. So we're just going to take them all off the fat. So transfer it into a bowl or a big plate like this and then we will proceed to the next step. So at this point we're going to put our onion into the pot here. We will stir. And then once the onion is translucent we're going to add our garlic. And then now we're going to put that our pork into the pot. Give it a mix. Make sure that all your onion and garlic are covering your pork. And at this point, I have just put our soy sauce and sugar and also the bay leaves and peppercorn. And then we're going to add in one cup of pineapple juice. No, two cups of water. And we're going to add in our black beans and add a little bit of and salt. We'll give it a good mix. And then we're going to cover it and bring it to the boil for an hour. What we're trying to achieve here is for our pork to be soft and tender. And we're going to render the fat that's in the pork and um, create a glaze from out of it. So we're going to be back. So we're back here and I'm just letting our pork kumba here simmer. Um, we're going to let it simmer for another hour. And what we really want to achieve here is to let the liquid reduce. And then wait until we get that glaze that we want to have from out of it. And then once we reduce the liquid, we're going to add in our final ingredients, which are the vinegar and the um, banana blossoms. What we're trying to achieve here as well by reducing our liquid is also for our pork to become soft and succulent. So it's been 45 minutes since we let this simmer and now I could see that the liquid has reduced quite a bit. And at this point we're going to add in the remaining ingredients which are our vinegar and the banana blossoms. We're just going to give it a stir and we're going to let it continue to simmer without the cover. What we're going to do is to let that sauce come out and that will make our pork shiny and 
succulent and tender. And I'll be right back. So as you can see, the liquid has reduced a bit. So we'll let this continue to simmer for a bit longer without a cover. And then wait for that sauce to come out. See, it's been an hour and a half since we let our pork come back to simmer. And now I could say that the juice or the liquid has finally reduced and the glaze has come out. So this is basically good right now. And I'm gonna show it to you. So this is how it looks right now. It's finally done. So I've actually turned off my cook pot here. I'm just gonna do one final mixing. See how beautiful looking it is. The glaze has come out. And it smells so delicious. So the final step for me is to plate it in. I'm gonna come back and just show it to you. We're gonna taste it as well. So we're back here and our pork kumba is finally done. Looks so delicious. I know it's mouth watering. Sorry guys. Um, but what I could do is, of course, taste it right now. That's the privilege of being the cook. You can taste whatever you have cooked. And, and I have a combination of white rice and brown rice here, as usual. We're gonna taste it right now. I'm gonna get this lean meat. And a little bit of the belly that has I'm looking for the belly that has fat in it. This one here, perfect. Taste it right now with my rice. Mm, big. Yummy. So delicious. The pork is soft and succulent, so tender. The taste is just magical. This is really good to try and share with family and friends. So feel free to try it and be amazed by this taste of pork kumba here. And the full recipe of this dish, just click on the website below, victorstinykitchen.com. And yes, our new website, victorstinykitchen.com. Again, victorstinykitchen.com is live right now. So come, feel free to visit and see the other recipes and the videos that I've made for this particular channel and have fun. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you will watch my other videos as well as subscribe to this channel and see you on my next one. Bye for now.